everybody, Maction here from TabletRoms.com, and we're here with Barna here at the Goal Zero booth. And Barna, you're going to show us the Yeti 150 and the Sherpa 50. And the Sherpa 50. Um, now, earlier this, or I guess it would have been at the end of last year, we did a review of some of the of the Switch 8, which we saw at CTIA Wireless. And here at CES, they have uh, several larger portable solar chargers and uh, solar batteries as well that will probably do a much better job of, uh, of charging the tablets than something like the Switch 8. But uh, I'll just let you take it away and, and show us around the products. So this is our new Yeti 150. We're launching it here at uh, the 2013 CES. Um, basically, this is a, a smaller version of our uh, award-winning Yeti 1250 uh, that we won with the Innovations Award this year. This is a 150 watt hour battery pack. So it's going to store 150 watt hours of power. It's going to be able to charge all your tablets quite easily. So directly from here, you have um, the 110 output. So we're going to be able to charge our laptops, our tablets, all kinds of things from the, from the 110 output quite easily. Uh, we have a USB output, so all your tablets are going to be able to charge directly from there. And we have two 12 volt outputs. So we have your 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 standard um, 12 volt output that you'd have in your vehicle, as well as our proprietary outlet 12 volt that you would plug your uh, light of life and some of our different accessories into. So obviously this is clean, this is green. There's no emissions. It's you know it's running right now, um, so we can't hear it. I and mean, you can run this indoors. We can charge it from a wall plug. So before you head out into the field, you can have it fully charged. But of course, we can charge this from our solar panels. That's the Yeti 150. Now, if you don't mind me just taking a look and moving it over here. So you see it's got, it's got the uh, LCD uh, display, mm -hmm. so we can sell when it's fully charged or when it's not. The input is right there, so that's where we're going to plug in our, our wall chargers or solar panels. So primarily this is going to be sold with our Boulder 15 solar panel. Mm -hmm. Basically that uh, Boulder 15 solar panel is going to recharge our uh, Yeti 150 within 12 to 15 hours of sun. Okay. If you want to recharge it faster, you can just add another panel and it can t cut your runtime. We do have many other solar panels that will charge it in one day. It just depends on, on your pow power usage. If you're running a tablet, You'll only run this down, you know, half or not even that in the course of a day. Good. So that's the Yeti 150, the new um, Gold Zero product, debuting here at CES. Now we also have a couple of others that are well suited for um, for if you need uh, to charge a tablet. Yeah. So this is this is the Sherpa 50. This uh, won the Innovations Award here at the CES in in 2012. Basically, it's a 50 watt hour battery pack. This one here is a lithium ion battery technology. We can, of course, charge it from a solar panel or from a wall plug. So if we're going to use it to charge from our wall plug, it's going to take about three hours. Um, if we're getting it together with our, this is called our... Nomad 13. Nomad 13. So from this panel, we're going to charge our Sherpa 50 in about six hours. Now, for those of you who've already seen the review of the uh, of the Switch 8, came with the Nomad 3.5 solar panel. This, of course, you know, Nomad 13, a little bit on the larger size, but you'll notice the same rugged material, the same uh, weather-resistant uh, material, and the same uh, loops for securing on the ends. Yeah, this stuff is nearly indestructible. You can beat the, the crap out of it, and it's going to be just fine. Well, good. Now, and what sort of charge time does it look like for the Sherpa 50 from the uh, from the uh, Nomad 13? Did you say it's about six hours in good sun? Six hours. Six hours. So from the from the Sherpa 50, we got we have a lot of outputs. We have uh, a USB connection. So of course you're going to plug your tablets directly into there and charge it. Um, you have a, a flashlight that's built right in, which is actually surprisingly bright. That's gonna it's gonna get you in a, get you out of a lot of sticky situations. You got your direct 12 volt output, so we're gonna give you the uh, the female cigarette adapter okay. that would come out of there. So you plug your devices in just like you would in your vehicle. And finally, this is really cool. This is our this is our laptop output. Mm -hmm. So you can buy the cord that's designed specifically for your laptop, mm -hmm. and, and basically it's a direct DC to DC connection. Okay. So there's no need to pack your your bulky uh, cord with your big brick in it, or 
or you're going to lose efficiencies that way. So this is going to be DC to DC, it's going to be more efficient. So that's really cool for, for the Sherpa 50. Again, you have your, your LC display. Excellent. And the LCD display on both of these gives you a good readout of how much battery you have left to go on any of these larger uh, battery devices. We also have the, the Sherpa UI. And basically, this is, a, this is a 110 inverter. And you can buy the kit with or without it. It just depends on what you're charging. If you're, if you're just charging tablets and you're going to charge from USB, USB, you may not need this. But this allows you to charge a lot of your 110 devices. So that just plugs on there, and now I can plug things in just like I would the wall plug. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. We sure appreciate your time. Um, anything else you'd like us to know? Um, as I understand it, Goal Zero has uh, recently... You, you've got like a world's largest or world's best uh, um, title now, don't you? Yeah, Goal Zero is now the, the world's number one selling line of portable solar products. Excellent. And definitely well-deserved because so far... The, uh, the, the solar panels and the chargers all look really, really good. And we sure appreciate the time, effort uh, that you put into your devices and also the time that you've taken to meet with us. No problem. Sure appreciate it.